Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce to you some of the Florida bird species that we've all come to know and love. And here at the end of the boardwalk is the great egret. The great egret inhabits all of Florida's expansive waterways and coastlines, like we see here in the background. This vast expanse is in Wikiwachi, Florida. This is one of the most natural and undeveloped areas you'll see on the nature coast. To get this artwork and many more in the collection, visit paxart.net. You're looking at the majestic Sand Hill Crane. I captured this video at the park near my house. Um, Sand Hill Crane is one of the largest birds in the world. It has a scarlet cap. It uh, is capable of flying at great heights. These birds are rather serene and peaceful until they go into their mating dance where they jump up and down, throw sticks in the air, and cackle uh, loudly. And you can hear them actually for miles. But here, I've gently walked up to them and they don't seem bothered at all. I'm just grazing at the park. I caught this video of the great heron in Arapico, Florida. One of my favorite places to hang out. It's just quiet and serene there. Um, unless there's a lot of people drinking beer on the bridge, in which case it can get rather festive. But at this point, this little guy is just on his search. Be sure and visit paxart.net to order this artwork from the convenience of your home. Here you're looking at the little blue heron, which migrates up and down the west coast of Florida. And this bird is unique because the young look completely different from the adults. Uh, they're born white. Gradually, they turn gray and then a blue color. The all-white young turn blotchy white the first year. By the second year around, they look blue. It's a very slow stalker, as you see here, looking for prey, and feeding in the freshwater lakes, rivers, and saltwater marshes, which is where we are here in this video. This video was taken in Arapico, Florida, and that beach is a man-made beach. If you ever visit Arapico, Florida, I think you'll find it quite um, what they call old Florida. It's rather remote, um, but it's such an interesting spot. And this little guy is just a little confused, it seems. Uh, here he goes backwards. I might be stressing him out a little bit. I'm on the canoe. Now, here he goes. He's back at it. He's forgotten about me taking the video.
Although it's not uncommon to see the yellow crowned night heron during the day, this one hunts at night. Okay. And although they're usually seen alone, I was lucky enough to catch two of them here in the same sea. And here we have another coastal resident of Florida, the Spoonbill. These are making a comeback from the devastating hunting pressures of the late 1800s for its wing feathers, which are used in women's hats and fans. These are fun to observe. Generally, you'll see them in flocks. Moving along the coastlines and shallow waters and hunting crabs and small fish and other tiny creatures along the coastline. And finally I've found a white ibis frolicking in the mangroves. This is another beautiful specimen of coastal Florida bird. Thank you for joining me in this video. Be sure and check the links below.